Shaul pursued after Dawid in the wilderness of Ma'on, and Shaul went on this side of the mountain, and Dawid and his men were on that side of the mountain. And Dawid made haste to get away for fear of Shaul, for Shaul and his men compassed Dawid and his men round about to take them. But there came a messenger to Shaul, saying, Haste thee and come, for the Polish team have made a raid upon the land. So Shaul returned from pursuing after Dawid, and went against the Polish team. Therefore they called that place Selahamahlakot. And Dawid went up from thence, and dwelt in the strongholds of Ain Gadi, of the books called Shamuel, the first, chapter 24. And it was when Shaul was returned from following the Polish team that it was told him, saying, Behold, Dawid is in the wilderness of Ain Gadi. Then Shaul took three thousand chosen men out of all Yishrael and went to seek Dawid and his men upon the rocks of the wild goats. And he came to the sheepcoats by the way, where was a cave, and Shaul went in to cover his feet. Now Dawid and his men were abiding in the innermost parts of the cave. And the men of Dawid said to him, Behold the day of which Yahweh said to thee, Behold, I will deliver thy hater into thy hand, and thou shalt do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Then Dawid arose and cut off the wing of Shaul's robe secretly. And it was afterward that Dawid's heart smote him, because he had cut off Shaul's wing. And he said to his men, Yahweh forbid that I should do this thing to my Lord, Yahweh's anointed, to put forth my hand against him, seeing he is Yahweh's anointed. So Dawid checked his men with these words, and gave them not to rise against Shaul. And Shaul rose up out of the cave and went on his way. Dawid also arose afterward and went out of the cave and cried after Shaul, saying, My lord the king! And when Shaul looked behind him, Dawid bowed with his face to the earth and did obeisance. And Dawid said to Shaul, For what reason hearkenest thou to men's words, saying, Behold, Dawid seeketh thy hurt? Behold, this day thy eyes have seen how that Yahweh had delivered thee today into my hand in the cave. And some bade me kill thee, but my eye spared thee. And I said, I will not put forth my hand against my Lord, for he is Yahweh's anointed. Moreover, my father, see, yea, see the wing of thy robe in my hand. For in that I cut off the wing of thy robe, and killed thee not. Know thou, and see that there is neither evil nor transgression in my hand. And I have not sinned against thee, though thou huntest after my soul to take it. Yahweh judge between me and thee, and Yahweh avenge me of thee, but my hand shall not be upon thee. As saith the proverb of the ancients, Out of the wicked cometh forth wickedness, but my hand shall not be upon thee. After whom is the king of Israel come out? After whom dost thou pursue? After a dead dog? After one flea? Yahweh therefore be judge, and give sentence between me and thee, and see, and plead my cause, 
and deliver me out of thy hand. And it was when Dawid had made an end of speaking these words to Shaul, that Shaul said, Is this thy voice, my son Dawid? And Shaul lifted up his voice and wept. And he said to Dawid, Thou art more righteous than I, for thou hast rendered to me good, whereas I have rendered to thee evil. And thou hast declared this day how that thou hast dealt well with me, for as much as when Yahweh had delivered me up into thy hand, thou killedst me not. For if a man find his enemy, will he let him go well away? For what reason Yahweh reward thee good for that which thou hast done to me this day? And now, behold, I know that thou shalt surely be king, and that the kingdom of Yisrael shall be established in thy hand. Swear now therefore to me by Yahweh, that thou wilt not cut off my seed after me, and that thou wilt not destroy my name out of my father's house. And Dawid swore an oath to Shaul, And Shaul went home, but Dawid and his men got them up to the stronghold. And Shamuel died, and all Yisrael gathered themselves together, and lamented him, and buried him in his house in the Ramah. And Dawid arose, and went down to the wilderness of Paran.